Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to Surviving Mars by Paradox Games. Last time, we learned how to maintain our colonies. This time, we'll learn how to accept actual, co actual colonists to Mars. Remember? Oh, that looks nice. That's how it's all eventually going to look. So, yeah, yeah, familiarize yourself with the challenges of sustaining society on Mars, so on and so forth. Everything done beforehand was a prelude this to this very moment, the arrival of the Founders. Our first colonists are called Founders. After they set foot on Mars, a trial period meant to test how humans fare on Mars will begin. No more colonists will arrive from Earth until the Founder stage ends. Be careful, if all your colonists die during this stage... The mission will be terminated. Best of luck, Commander. That's right, guys. Today, we're going to let the Founders step foot on Mars. We're going to see if humans can really live there. And we're going to see if you're going to hit that like button. Because if you don't, then we're going to push you right out the airlock into the harsh Martian landscape. Because that's that's how we do it around these parts. It's sink or swim. So let's see. Oh, yep. Here's our, here's our lovely little dome. This is nice. That's my housing. It's pretty, pretty dank looking, actually. Living complexes are built inside the dome. The space within the dome is limited, so each building has to be carefully d planned, you know, and and not uh, not lavish or luxurious at all. Construct a living complex, which only has three buildings. We guess one living complex. Oh, all right. Well, let's let's go. Oh, look at them. They're going on in. Oh, yep. There are the airlocks we told you we'd throw you out of if you don't uh, like and subscribe. So there you go, man. You gotta be you gotta be careful. Kabam! Look. Oh, look at them. All right, all right, all right. Let's. Let's order a passenger rocket. All and determine which ones will travel to the colony. Colonists are organized by their age, specialization, and various traits. You can set desired and undesired traits in every category by using thumbs up and thumbs down icons. Just like you guys should use that thumbs up icon because we're plugging super hard today. Um, colonists with more of the desired traits will board the rockets, while colonists with any undesired traits will be rejected. Nice. That's what we like to see. It don't take just anybody. Yeah, that's probably what we do want to do. By highlighting individuals, applicants, one by one, you can review their perks and flaws. Maybe a good idea to do this for the founders in order to get an exact number of specialists you desire, as well as handpick the first of these colonists. Nice. Alright. Let's... Sexy. Nice. Glutton eats double rations. Let's let's put a filter. Age group. We like youths and adults. No middle age. Apply. Filter. Uh flaws. No chronic conditions, no alcoholism, no gluttons, no hypochondriacs. Jeez. What do we got now? 40 applicants. All right, all right. We're, we're, we're filtering them down. That's good. Quirks don't fit in any. Oh, what do we got here? Randomly spreads traits. Huh. Oh, no. Ah. Uh. We don't want no damn vegans on Mars. What are you talking about? This is this is not gonna fly. We gotta. All right, all right. Specialization. Sex. Other sex. Huh. Alright. Perks. Why do we want celebrities? Composed. 
Ooh, yeah. We want those. Want someone who's fit. Huh. Yeah, hippies are nice. Ooh. Huh. Stay away from... Let's keep some sexy people. Bam! Okay, 32 applicants. This is... This is something we can do. Okay, let's check it out. Workaholic gambler. 50% chance... Uh... Nice! Okay, okay. This is pretty cool. Increases performance. We need a botanist, man. We, we gotta have at least a botanist. Add that guy. Or girl. <laughs> What's our rocket? Uh, imagine. Available residences on Mars. Select. Oh, oh, we gotta get rid of. We gotta get rid of somebody. Composed and sexy. We love that. How many engineers do we have? Sorry, Bao, Bao Su. You gotta stay behind. We have uh, Anunziata Bader. Launch! Now we gotta wait for these guys to come. Colonists will arrive on Mars with a small amount of food. But it will not last long. We need to make sure that they will be able to produce their own food on the red planet. The hydroponic farm can produce food. Although the colonists can take food directly from a food depot, they will be happier if they can pick it up from a grocery. Okay, fair enough. Then why didn't you tell us to do that earlier? Huh? Ever think of that? Hydroponic. Oh, jeez. Really? We can't? No. Nope. Okay. That's, that's fine. Let's make a grocer. Distributes hot meals and fresh produce. Nice. Nice. Let's just make this, bam, right next to the housing complex, just across the road. This is kind of cute, actually. We like it. We just... We really wonder why you need, like, full-on, like, uh, luxury living buildings for your first founders. Why not make apartments, studio apartments or whatever? Bam, look at that. Boom, nice little vertical hydroponic system. Surface. Oh, jeez. But now we're going to need you to build a huge service building. Different services satisfy different interests colonists may have. A colonist will feel more comfortable inside a dome which has interests, his interests covered, but you don't need to cover every interest, and in a smaller dome this might not even be possible. If the comfort of the colonists falls too low, they become, may become Earth-sick and decide to leave Mars and go back to Earth. However, Martian-born colonists will never get Earth-sick. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. Oh, dear. Insufficient food. Oh, that's fine. Construct a space bar inside the dome. This giant monstrosity that you really don't actually need. Alright, let's just make the people happy, we guess. Right. Fixing the space bar with all the concrete. Do 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 do. Bad singing on a let's play. Oh. 
Uh, it's how we keep from killing ourselves, which we wouldn't do, and you shouldn't do either. Just, just so you know. Wait for the passenger rocket to arrive and then land it. Land it like, like, right over here. Bam, there we go. Concrete. View, a new message. Yeah. The next ten souls will be full of difficulties and dangers, but also with great promise and opportunities. It is now to us to prove that Mars can be a doorway to greater riches in the future of the human civilization. Even the most epic adventures begin with a single step. The arrival of additional colonists temporarily suspended until the colony proves able to sustain human life. Your founder colonists must survive for ten souls before additional people can arrive. Hint, the colony will be evaluated positively before the period ends in the event in the event the first human is born on Mars. If you feel you are up to the challenge, try constructing a medical building and raising the comfort of the founders as much as possible with service buildings. So, in that case... Let's do just that. Small space bar. Apartments. There, yeah, see, that's what we were talking about earlier. We are going to want... Infirmary not yet available. Oh, we see how it is. No? Go to hell then. Oh, no, we see what it is. Its work the founders that just arrived have taken, a, have taken available jobs automatically, but you can customize their work assignments. With the building selected, no, notice the three available work shifts on the info panel. Two of them are active, with two workers employed at each shift. The more workers assigned to a building, the better the building performs. Initially, however, we won't be needing so many people working at the space bar, as there will be other important jobs to fill, and limited people to fill them, especially during the founder stage. Disable one job slot in every active shift. Uh, wait, one, stop zooming around, okay, uh, disable one work slot per active shift in the spacebar by following the steps. Select the spacebar and right click one of the work slots in the first two shifts until the slot is shown red. Yoink. Whoops, oh, cancel. That's cool. We like that. Alright, sorry. <clears throat> huh. Alright. Select the space bar. Oh, duh. Space bar. Duh! Oh my god. Right click, right click. What are you, are you rich or something? Is that why you have a whatever? Yeah, we we did we did that, or we thought we did that. Two seconds, guys. Sorry about that. We just had a a thing. All right. Uh, apparently, we're just. Oh, double click on it. Right, dar dar her. Healthy colonists at working age are able to fill any position, but how well they perform at a certain position varies between colonists. Some buildings are more effective with workers with a certain specialization. For example, scientists are the best workers for a research lab. Let's build a research lab. 
we guess. Let's build it here, across from the space bar. Space bar. All right, guys, let's let's check this out. Now they're building it, building it pretty fast. Consistently impressed. Oh, look at this, our people. Work shifts, among other things, are a way to manage your work. The more shifts a building has open, the more colonists it will attract to work there. Well, there you go. Colonists don't like to work at night and will lose sanity while doing so. Furthermore, you may activate the heavy workload option, which boosts performance of a building during that shift, but inflicts sanity and health problems on the worker due to increased stress at their job. No thanks. Uh, research. Activate the second work shift. Doink. On-site research is very important for the long-term prosperity and survival of the colony, so let's let us prioritize it. Bam! High priority. With the research lab up and running, let's begin researching some technologies. Sure, why not? Clink. Let's go to this fancy-looking screen. We like this screen. Alright, Q3 of the available technologies. All right. We mean... Hell yeah, I'm a botanist. Fear my botany powers, Andy Weir the Martian. Seeds can be used to plant vegetation on Mars. Sure. Let's start there. We like that. Vapor upgrade, greenhouse Mars, wind turbine upgrade, do we, okay, so we, we can just do that, that's cool to know, productivity training, nice, increases research. That's what we want to see. How about we check all these out? No longer require... Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. And... Oh, that's cool. Sure. Close. Everything needed for basics. Oh, we honestly thought it would be a little longer than that. The Founder stage takes ten souls to be complete. Be careful if all your colonists die during this period. This mission will be terminated. Having a baby born on Mars before the end of this period will also complete the Founder stage. This can happen if the comfort is very high. So... Oh, no, we don't even have to finish. Alright, well, that's that's that, guys, we suppose. Hope you enjoyed this particular episode. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and ring the bell, and if you haven't already, we're shoving you right out the airlock into the hostile Martian wilderness. Uh, otherwise, you are great and totally welcome on our colony. Remember also that there are links to our Patreon in case you're a reader in the description, as well as all of our other stuff. Have a great night and stay safe.